What's up guys, it's all about the Galaxy Beam and I'm very excited as yesterday I saw that Samsung added a new projector smartphone to tina.com.cn which is the governmental certification center for technology and telecommunications in China. So uh, this would be the third projector smartphone in fact. The first one was the Samsung Galaxy Beam GTI 8520 which came out in 2010. But uh, this one uh, was not that well known as the target markets were very limited. The second one is the Samsung Galaxy Beam GTI 8530 and it came out in 2012. That is uh, the one that I have and I uh, make videos about it. For me it's the most useful and coolest smartphone out there and I just love it. Check out my videos if you want to know more about it. The third one uh, is the one which uh, I will be presenting you today. The model number is SMG3858 and the connectivity is GSM and TDSCDMA, which is the Chinese network connectivity. Um, LTE might be added for the international version, as this version shown here seems to be for the Chinese market for now. So the specifications. The specifications for the new Beam 3 as listed on the tina.com.cn site are it has a 4.66 inch WVGA display, which means 800 times 480 uh, resolution. And the current Galaxy Beam has the same resolution, but only a 4 inch display. It will run on Jelly Bean 4.2.2. And uh, the current Jelly Bean, uh, the current Galaxy Beam has a leaked Jelly Bean 4.1.2. Now, it will have also a quad-core 1.2 GHz chipset, which uh, might be Snapdragon. And uh, the current Galaxy Beam has a 1 GHz dual-core Novator chipset. I mentioned uh, Snapdragon because the development for Novator chipsets has been discontinued, which means stopped. Now, uh, it will have uh, 1 GB of RAM. The current the Galaxy Beam has 768 MB of RAM. Um, the camera. Uh, will have a CMOS sensor and a 30 megapixel back and 5 megapixel front camera. Yes, 30 megapixel according to the government website. And I also confirmed that with a Chinese speaking person when I translated what uh, was written on the website. And just to let you know, 5 megapixel front cameras exist already in some smartphones like the Oppo U-Like 2 and the Huawei Ascent G6. So uh, if Samsung does not upgrade the screen, they at least do it with the camera big time. The current uh, beam has a 5 megapixel back and a 1.3 megapixel front camera. Uh, it will also the new beam also will have full HD, so a 1080p video recording, which means, uh, which seems to match with the new camera specifications. The current beam has an HD, so 720 video recording. Uh, it will also have a micro SD card slot for cards up to 32 gigabyte, uh, same as the current beam, but the current beam has uh, can also read 64 gigabyte cards. So it could be that uh, with the beam three. Um, it will read 64 gigabyte cards or more as well. The dimensions are uh, 134.5 times 70 times 11.7 millimeters. The current beam has 124 times 64.2 times 12.5 millimeter. So the beam 3 will be slightly thinner. The available colors are or should be uh, black and white, uh, white which could point to the current silver, although there is an indication that there might be more colors. Now the backside material of the Beam 3 is pretty exciting, uh, because it seems to be metal, but it might also be plastic in a metal look. We don't know it yet. You can clearly see the bump on the top where the project is positioned, same as with the current beam. and. Um, the thing is the site does not mention anything about the projector specifications yet. Future will tell. And here you can see the slots for the micro SD and you can see the power button and a dedicated projector button as in the current Galaxy Beam. On this picture you can see the head jack, the volume buttons and the SIM card slot. So. This is the information that we have for now guys. I will put the link into the video description of that governmental site as a proof to what I said. You will also find additional info about the Beam 3 there. 
If there is anything new coming up, I will of course let you know, so stay tuned. Also check out my current videos, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook, Twitter or Google+. Have a great day and I'll speak to you soon guys. Peace.